A viewer asked if the Mossberg TAC-22 715T tactical rifle could accept some of the inexpensive, easy-to-obtain Marlin magazines that are out there. That's actually a really good question, because you see the Mossberg 715 receiver is actually based on a Marlin 70 receiver. And so it's time to find out if their magazines are interchangeable. That's coming up next on Mostly 22 LR. We're going to go ahead and pull out some uh, safe ammunition, if you might say. We're going to pull out some snap caps. We would have no reason to shoot live ammunition at this point. We don't even know if functionally it will work. So let's go ahead and pull out, uh, I think I've got five or six, I forget. I've always, I'm always losing these because I use them so often. But uh, we, all we want to use for the snap caps is just to check functionality. So let's go ahead and we'll start with an XT-22 magazine. This is actually a 795 magazine. And we'll just put a couple of rounds in here real quick. Three ought to do. And you're finding out with me. I could have done this in the RV last night, but I didn't want to. <laughs> okay. This is not moving up into the magazine well. That's not a problem. Because these, although they're compatible with the 795s, the Marlin XT-22 magazines are a slightly different design, and they're not. The Marlin XT-22 magazines are not downward compatible with the 795s. This, on the other hand, is an auto loader. So let's see. Fits bolt actions and post-1988 self loaders. Post-1988 being the key here. This, let's go ahead and put three here, and let's see if this works. This is the 10 round magazine that Marlin sells. And again, it doesn't seem to want to go up and seat. And it's not, it's not the action that's holding it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and flip this over and see what our problem is. If we can see it, we might not be able to. Yeah. So we know that the Mossberg 715T Tactical, and by default, pretty much everything in the 702 lineup, is not going to accept a, a Marlin magazine. There are some other magazines out there, but I don't have access to them, so we're not going to be able to test them today. But let's see if the Marlin will accept the Mossberg magazines. Kind of be, it might be like the 223 and the 556 kind of issue. A 556 will take a 223, but not vice versa. Let's see what happens. And I can already see the major differences here. The follower on the Marlin is uh, wider than on the Mossberg. And in the front of the magazine, where the bullet is, it's actually it's, it's, um, a little bit thinner on that front. So we've got a nice, hefty, solid, big, thick part here. And then we've got something that tapers off kind of um, uh, very shapely, if we could use that word. <laughs> <clears throat> Magazines don't arouse me. But anyway, this one doesn't want to go up either. Hmm. The design is such that there's a little... Uh, let's go ahead and set this down so I don't hurt it. This little bump right here that's on the Mossbergs is keeping it from uh, following into the uh, receiver on the Marlins. So basically this tells us and there it is right there. That keeps me from putting it in there. It's just a fraction larger than it. Man, ah, don't you just hate that when you don't have compatible parts? It's not like the AR-15, huh? Oh, well, at any rate, so now we know pretty much basically that the Mossberg and the Marlin receivers use different magazines. They're not compatible, which is a sad statement, but, you know, it is what it is, sadly. There are some other Marlin magazines out there. Uh, I believe the Model 25 uses a different uh, magazine. I could probably buy one of those, but I'm not going to. I'll leave it as an exercise to somebody else, and we'll see uh, if somebody else wants to put... Uh, if they've got a Model 25, maybe uh, 
I know uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 has a Model 25. Maybe he can use it in a 715T Tactical up there at Moss Pawn and Gun and uh, tell us if it does fit or not. But until then, it's great to know that we, we now know that the uh, Mossbergs and the Marlins have incompatible magazines. So don't be trying to put them in. <laughs> I'm Rob Rosenberger for mostly 22 lr And remember, 22 lr is real ammunition. Treat it as such. I've got a knife, don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the one I took to Iraq in 2003. It's a $3 knife. <clears throat> it may be a $3 knife, but it opens perfectly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and be safe here. I don't want to be counting in base nine, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs>